वेलकम बैक टूडे टॉपिक इज मैनुअल कैलकुलेशन ऑफ शर्ट सर्किट करेंट सो वेन एवर वी आर यूजिंग द मैनुअल कैलकुलेशन एंड वी आर गोइंग टू वैलिडेट यूजिंग एनी सिम्युलेशन सॉफ्टवेयर लाइक डिट एफ और सिमिलर टाइप ऑफ सॉफ्टवेयर दैट टाइम वी सी दैट देर आर लॉट ऑफ डिस्क्रिपेंसेज or mismatches we can found in today's video i will discuss how to calculate manually how to calculate short circuit current three phase short circuit current and single line to ground fault short circuit current and also i will validate using etap software so let's take a simple network just like this i have drawn a simple network where there is a grid there is a two winding transformer one motor connected with this 11 kb system and another lamp load is there so it's a simple network so if you can understand this simple network you will be able to perform the short circuit analysis for any complicated system as well rather today's topic will be emphasized on the manual calculation and obviously validation using that etap software how to do that is an every single component whatever i have modeled here i will show you first of all whenever we are performing the short circuit calculation using any manual method we are going to skip lot of things number one is that c factor what we consider in etap software if we see for from this short circuit uh, study case editor here the c factor the c factor is used for this medium voltage is 1.1 but whenever we are performing the manual calculation we are not using that c factor we are not considering the c factor that's why that result will not that result will not match with that software output another thing is that generally whenever we are performing that calculation using manual method we are considering the z value means only the impedance not r value or x value separately right it may be grid source grid it may be transformer it may be motor or any other loads there may be some differences number 3 is whenever we are using that uh, you know that transformer during that manual short circuit calculation we are not using this impedance correction factor kt this impedance correction factor this 0.95 into c max means the c factor 1.1 divided by 1 plus 0.6 into transformer reactance so this impedance correction factor kt value we are not considering in manual calculation that's why the result will not match with the etap generated software uh, or any software generated outputs but in this video i will show you how to validate almost accurately with the manual calculation and also how to find out that three phase fault current or single line to ground fault current if the motor is connected how the motor parameters will be modeled and how does it impact in the short circuit contribution in the power system network whenever we are using the cable that cable resistance r value that should be corrected r value based on this formula ic formula and each and every time we need to calculate the positive sequence impedance negative sequence impedance as well as the zero sequence impedance for the unbalanced ground faults so this unbalanced system components are required to perform that short circuit calculation asymmetrical short circuit calculation so we need to we need to check 
the value of Z1, Z2 as well as Z0. When the motor is also connected and along with that lump load is connected, how it will impact, how it will contribute in the short circuit contribution. We will check that thing also. So whenever we are going to perform that manual calculation, first of all we need to model the grid. That means the shows grid. We need to specify the short circuit current of the shows grid and also the x by r ratio. So these are the input parameters. Based on that, ETAP will calculate. Based on that, software will calculate and where to put these values. This is 40 kilohams short circuit current and x y r ratio of the short grid. So these two are the input parameters and based on that, ETAP will calculate the positive sequence percentage R and positive sequence percentage X value. So and definitely that is based on the 100 MBA base because ETAP will consider this 100 MBA base by default value. You cannot change this 100 MBA base. So based on this 100 MBA, what will be the percentage value of R? What will be the percentage value of X? And also the negative negative sequence percentage R percentage X. Here you cannot edit this negative sequence value because ETAP will assume that positive sequence reactance and resistance values are exactly equal to negative sequence resistance and reactance values. And the zero sequence will be different. That may be different, but here it is same. It is considering same. So this positive sequence percentage R 0.09349. In our manual calculation, you can see this is 0 0.093488 or 0 0.09349. Percentage X, it is also matching with this setup. Coming to the next item is the transformer. Transformer is 25 MBA, 110 KB bar 11 KB transformer. Percentage impedance 10% and XYR ratio 20. So these are also the input parameters. These are also the input parameters. Here you can see I have used typical Z and X by R value. So 10% in percentage impedance and XYR ratio is 20. Rating 25 MBA. Transformer and we need to change the base of the transformer then impedance correction factor will be there and based on that we need to calculate positive sequence impedance Z1, Z2 and Z0 to get to get the three phase short circuit current single phase short circuit current right so all these things we can we can simulate also using this short circuit you can see 19.313 kilo ampere this is as you can see this is three phase short circuit current so 19.313 kilo ampere and if you go here as per our manual calculation it is there 19.311 and if you see single line to ground fault it is 17.45 if you check single line to ground fault it is 17.45 so how to validate this i will show you So this is the manual calculation value for the three phase fault current. This is single line to ground fault current 17.45 kilo ampere. So there is a step by step procedure how to calculate manually and how to validate using ETAP software. Basically I will split the videos in uh, another, another three or four videos where I will discuss in detail I will go in depth how to calculate the grid parameters how to calculate the transformer parameters then changing the base all these things 
obviously we need to consider impedance correction factor for the transformer this may be covered in a video and we will calculate what is the what is the short circuit contribution from the source side if the fault is created at this 11 kb board that means if we open this breaker this is also open so only the contribution will come short circuit contribution will come from this source grid and the transformer through this transformer from this source grid through this transformer towards this 11 kb bus now let's run this 60909 and let's check what is the what is the fault contribution this three phase short circuit so it is coming 14.123 now the lump load is not connected also the motor load is also not connected only the source grid contribution so whenever we are calculating manually also we should not neglect this source grid side fault contribution we have to consider this we have to consider this grid parameters means grid resistance grid imp uh, grid reactance values so that it should not be neglected not only the not only the downstream loads which are connected with this 11 kb bus bus but also from the source grid so it plays an important role whenever we are calculating the short circuit current at, in, at this 11 kb switchboard sometimes we neglect this source side means source impedance we consider it as the ideal source but in reality there will be some short circuit current contribution from this source grid though there is a transformer connected in between that will limit the fault current but this source contribution should not be neglected okay so in this manual calculation we will split the upcoming videos the second video will be related to this when we are connecting the motor load how the resistance and reactance values will be calculated and accordingly the values of z1 z2 and z0 and based on that three phase short circuit current value and single line to ground fault current values will be will be calculated another video will be will will cover this including the lump load as you can see this is the motor load and this is the lump load so now if we consider all the things like this source grid contribution fault current contribution lump load fault current contribution this side motor short circuit current contribution all these three contributions will be there and based on that what will be the short circuit current at this 11 kb bus it may be three phase fault it may be single line to ground fault it may be line to line fault it may be double line to ground fault so we will check using this using this manual calculation that may be that that can be uh, third video so in this way we can split three or four more videos we will go in depth and we will check and validate with the software generated output as well but before moving forward i would like to share with you there is a membership there is a membership offer in this channel where you can find the membership is that only if you subscribe as a member for this gold package or this diamond package you will be able to watch the videos where the detailed short circuit calculation manually and validation using ETAP software that can be available and if you want to get this excel excel file if you want to get this excel file so that you can practice more and more you can use this excel file just changing the input parameters you will be able to calculate any type of faults that means three phase faults or any other unbalanced faults 
means single line to ground fault double line to ground fault line to line fault all these things only you need to change the input parameters so that you can get the output results means short circuit currents if you want to get this excel file also in that case you need to subscribe in this diamond package which is only 799 rupees indian rupees only but if you subscribe in this gold package definitely you will be able to watch the videos but you will not get the excel file if you want to get the excel file you need to subscribe in this diamond package so we will see in the next upcoming videos where the detailed calculation using the ETAP software validation will be discussed. So in this video up to this, we will see in the next videos.